Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. The folks at Epic Games have just announced Unreal Engine 5. Now, this has been two years in the making from the first time which we saw the initial release and there's just a whole lot of hype and things coming for this. This announcement was made today during the State of Unreal event. So there's a whole lot of things to unpack for this one and regardless of the fact that Unreal Engine 5 is here, there is also a couple of other things that you might just want to stick around for. Getting started, Unreal Engine 5 now comes with some of the friendly stuff that we did see initially. So from the UI all the way down to performances, lumen, working with high density models, all of these things are right here. If we go through this step by step, there's just a whole lot of things that you might want to sit down for. So what we're going to do is just breeze through a couple of these things so you can be in the knowing. First off, you can now start building high density walls. You can animate stuff easily, just like you would do in DCC apps. Regardless of that, there is also lots of cool features that will make you work way more efficiently with the whole redesigned UI. Now the UI now accommodates for you to work faster and with the integration of Megascan libraries and Pixel Bridge, you can now drag and drop high quality content from the Megascan library directly into your Unreal project. And this is definitely going to save you so much time as downloading and importing things is as easy as a simple click and drag and drop. There is also the massive idea of you playing with tools like Nanite as it's even way more easier for you to bring massive amount of geometry and drop them directly into Unreal Engine with as much details as possible. So working from ZBrush and bringing those things directly into here is something that will be pretty easy for you to do now. Alongside with this is a virtual map. So if we take a look at what we have here, you can tell what we are seeing. So we've already done a video about this one before and how you can play with poly counts and you know how Nanite gets to interpret this and help you run things way faster. And that is one of the other cool things that you'll be able to see once you download Unreal Engine 5. So at this point, you can directly import and replicate multi-million polygon meshes and maintain the same real-time frame rate without any noticeable loss in fidelity. And importing high resolution models is not the only thing you can do now. Lumen is also here. So for those who've been thinking about baking light, you know, that has been a frustration of yours while working in Unreal Engine. Right now, this is going to be a theme of the past. Lumen is a fully dynamic global illumination and reflection solution that enables indirect lighting to adapt on the fly to change the direct lighting or geometry. And with Lumen, you no longer need the light map UVs or wait for light maps to bake. There's also the temporal super resolution, which is pretty dope. The world partitioning is one of those things that is also game changing. So Unreal Engine 5 comes with a whole lot of game changing features and each of the dimensions are just revolutionary as they come. With a brand new Unreal Engine 5 world partition system, you can now simply change how levels are managed and streamed automatically by dividing the worlds into a grid and streaming the necessary cells at a given time. There's also the animation in context, which is also brilliant. We've mentioned this before, the fact that you can now create animations pretty easy and also work with the control rig to pose and animate your characters in the sequencer. At the same time, you can use this as a retargeting tool instead of going to one DCC app to another. It is also worth knowing that the animation features that ships with Unreal Engine 5 can also allow you dynamically adjust your animations at runtime to compensate for different gameplay scenarios such as varying speed of terrain. And you might think that this is where it stops, but it keeps going on. Modeling is something that we've already teased. This was something that I believe shipped sometime in Unreal Engine 4.3. And we did talk about how you can do your quick models and all that stuff. And Unreal Engine 5 is pushing this even way further. So regardless of the fact that you can now do your models directly in Unreal Engine, there is also some beautiful UV creation and editing tools that now comes with it. So at this point, you can use Unreal Engine for modeling and also cutting out UVs. And I think for those thinking about kit bashing several stuff and modeling them directly in Unreal Engine, this might also be a welcome development. Metasound is also something that we've already mentioned before. And this is a high performance system that offers complete control over audio DSP graph generation of sound sources. So at this point, you can now mess around with sounds however you want. And in several cases, you might also tie the meta sounds to giving actions. So lots and lots of things for those who like to come through and check out. And of course, if you go through the release note, there's just a whole lot of things to look at. Right here, we have the Lumen Global Illumination and Reflection. Pretty impressive stuff that we're getting here. And if you go all the way down, you also see that we have the virtual shadow maps and a whole lot more stuff for those who want to look at this. But then there's also some free stuff for anyone who is willing to take it. The folks at Epic Games have also announced loads and loads of free stuff 
to help you navigate through Unreal Engine 5. The very first one is the Lyra Starter game, and this is a heavy game for anyone who's willing to test it out. With that said, there is also the city sample vehicles. So lots and lots of things has just been rolled out. There is the sample crowd as well. There is the sample building, and these are very beautiful things. So this is a city sample buildings, and there's a high quality set of buildings that you can pick up. And of course, we do have the crowd. So if we go through, you can see the crowds and all these crowds are made up of the metahuman crowds. And you might also want to check this one out like so. And we also have the city sample. And of course, the city sample is a free downloadable sample file that revealed how the scene from the Matrix Awakening, the Unreal Engine 5 experience was built. So with this, you can navigate through the entire city, play with this, see how it works. And at the time of recording, this file is extremely heavy. It's just a lot. We're probably going to download and test it out. And it's quite a whole lot for anyone who will want to play with it. Along with that, there is also the ML Deformer. And this is a data generation plugin from the folks at Epic Games. And it is specifically for Maya users. And this one is also available right now. So lots of things were made available today for Unreal Engine users. And of course, for those thinking about creating games, creating animations, working with Unreal Engine extensively, you have opportunities of playing with this. At the same time, the folks at Epic Games also announced the dev section. So within the dev section, you'll be able to interact with other developers. There's a very beautiful community that is now available. You can get access to learning materials, publish your games, take advantage of several services, and at the same time, exist within a given community. Now, there is a whole lot of samples and things that you can take out of this. And if you're a developer, you might want to consider checking this one out. So this is more like it. For those who are thinking about getting Unreal Engine 5, you can simply go ahead and check it out right now, download it and start playing with it. Lots of incredible features for game, film, television, architecture, automotive, broadcast, and also simulation artists. And of course, if you like to jump in and start playing with the sample files that is available or the free files that are available right now, links to this is also going to be in the description. So do well to check them out. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section. Unreal Engine 5 is here and it is now time to start creating stuff the way you've always wanted to do. Tell me what you guys think about this one. And of course, if you like this video or you learned something from this, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And until I see you guys in the next one, peace.